Hello! So I am going to my best friend's house soon, but I wanted to get the items that I sold ready so when I come back, they're all laid out and ready for me to pack and go live on TikTok for. I don't know what time I'll be home, so that's why I want to have it done so I'm not like scrambling late at night trying to like get everything and waste time. So we're just going to get some stuff now. I have four sales, but one person ordered five items, so we're going to try to find all those. Also, if you guys follow me on TikTok, you will have seen that a video I posted went viral. It almost has 2 million views and it's of me hitting my head on the ceiling back in 2009. I feel like that video is going to haunt me forever. I didn't, I thought maybe max like 50,000 people would see it. You know, maybe it would semi blow up. Not 2 million. Uh, so check that out if you want a good laugh. But okay, let's grab the first one. It is a SpongeBob VHS tape. Okay, it might. Ooh, no, actually. I think it's in this one. And if it is, I have good memory. Oh, it's not. Wait, 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 is it? Is it the Christmas one that they ordered? No, sponge aroma. There is a SpongeBob one in here though. There is a SpongeBob one. I'm not crazy, but I thought the other SpongeBob one was in here. But actually, somebody ordered a Sabrina book and it's in here, so I should grab it. They say them on trial. This is one. I think I have it over in here. No, it's a different one. How many SpongeBob videos do I have? Where is the Orama one? Okay, I found another order. Somebody ordered these three Charlie Brown Halloween plushes. So we have two Snoopies and one Woodstock in their little Halloween costumes. Totally forgot I had these. I got these probably two years ago. That's like a little insight to how long things take to sell sometimes. Like you could buy something that you think is really cool, but it won't sell for like years. <laughs> Somebody ordered a whole bunch of books with that Sabrina book. So they ordered Barbie Girl on Blades, The Halloween Motel, and the spooky Halloween party. They ordered a couple more that I need to go grab. Actually, it's just one more that I need to grab. It's another Barbie one. Barbie, very busy. Oh, it's so dark in here. Barbie, very busy. This one's cute. It's from 1993. Oh my goodness. I should have checked here first because it's in here. I check a place, but not well enough. And it happens to be there. So they ordered Spongorama. And the last order is this Dragonflies VHS tape. I have never come across this before. This is the first one ever. This guy is freaking me out. What the heck? Let me know if you've seen this. So another part of my day or slash business that you might not think about is that I sell VHS tapes and I have to test every single VHS tape that I post on my Etsy. So that's what I'm doing. I have nine to test. So it's a bit time consuming. It's good for people to know if they work or not. You know, they're spending money on it. You want to make sure that it works for them. Please work. It is working. That's a good sign. <laughs> That was not what I expected, to be honest. All right, one of my machine's working. I haven't really gotten a VHS tape that hasn't worked before. Let's hope the streak continues. Let's see if that jam will come on again. Mighty machines. Mm. Mm. I feel so weird right now and I do not know why. Okay, remember when I got this in the last video at the garage sale and I said it might not work on my DVD player? We're about to find out. We're about to test this sucker. Sometimes this remote does not work unless I reset the DVD player. 
It's such a weird DVD player. I kind of regret buying it. It's pink, it's cute, but it just isn't the greatest. Because it's like a blue disc and I tried this before and my DVD player did not like it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What, it's working? Stop it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's actually, like, let's give it the real test now. Of the South yes, Jeff, tell us. Harmony! I want the main the main title to play. You need to catch that chicken! That is you need to catch that chicken! The quality. The quality. Come on, Jeff, give us the theme song. Days. <laughs> that literally gets me hyped up. Okay, I need to pause this. The nostalgia this gives me, let me just give you some background. So every single season of Survivor, my family and I would watch it. And every time we watched it, we would make nachos and we would sit down as a family and we would eat nachos and watch Survivor. And we just like, that was our tradition. So oh, this just gives me chills. This gives me chills. Um, anywho, it works. Good morning, I'm going to two garage sales today. I definitely meant thrift stores. <laughs> I haven't been to these ones in a very long time, so fingers crossed we find some good stuff. Okay, so funny story. I walked into this value village and came across my father, as you will see here. He was randomly there, so we shopped together, and he was looking through some board games, even though like two seconds before we were like, we don't need any, any more board games, we have way too many but we just cannot resist. We are very easily tempted to buy stuff, but we found some cute Looney Tunes and these fun plush like giraffes that turn into backpacks and a little cookie monster that my dad actually cleaned up and got it to work. It makes some sounds. And this iconic Shrek, the third cup from McDonald's. <laughs> Okay, that was so funny. My dad actually was there and I had no idea he was gonna be there. He had no idea I was going to be there, but I pulled up to the Value Village and I saw a work truck, like a big, they kind of look like a moving van. And I was like, I don't know who else is parking at a Value Village with the, one of those trucks. That looks exactly like my dad's. And it was my dad. I literally saw him the second I walked and I ran up to him. It was so funny. We got some stuff together. He, we picked up that um, Cookie Monster plush, but he's gonna take it home to clean it. I did pick up the Tweety Bird plush. It's like a little angel, so cute with the wings. This one's from 1990, 1998. I picked up another Monster High magazine in hopes that you know, I can sell it. It hasn't been used. It's in really good condition. Then I took a gamble and I picked up this Monsters University magazine. This is from 2013. It still has this little, like, what even is this? An activity card or something? I don't know. It still had the insert. It's in such good condition. All the pages haven't been used, so I'm a sucker for a good magazine. And then, McGee and me. Okay, if you don't know what this is, it's pretty much, I grew up with this. It's like a Christian cartoon, and I was literally obsessed, and I got a cassette tape not too long ago about McGee and me, and so he, this is like a, the Christian version of Lizzie McGuire, because this is his little cartoon friend. It's like, the, the TV series or movies that I had on VHS were like real life people, but McGee was the little cartoon guy that he would talk to. And I'm like, is this Lizzie McGuire 2.0? Um, but yeah, this is a cute little board game. I didn't even know they made a board game of McGee and me. So that's so cool. So yeah, that's really exciting. Yeah, look it up if you wanna know what Lizzie McGuire 2.0 looks like. Let's head over to the next one. My dad said he might go to it, might not, it depends. So we'll see if we run into him again. <laughs> All right, starting off, I found these creepy clowns. I'm honestly not that scared of clowns, but these ones were like extra creepy for some reason. This just made me laugh. I'm saving up for a unicorn. <laughs> okay, this girl talk game, I really, really, really wanted to get, but I'll kind of talk about it in a later clip on why I did not get it. But look how fun that is. 
this you guys if you know booba you are my new best friend i would watch this all the time before school even though it kind of scared me but the price was a little too steep for me to pick it up so i sadly had to leave it there i feel like this is like the brand that i have in my booth i have like a little petite purse in my booth so maybe could have picked that up but i just was not sure about it and this VHS tape actually had the wrong tape inside. I checked, so I had to sadly leave it. Normally this thrift store doesn't have the greatest VHSs, but today they had some fun ones to look at like Madeline. They also had Shrek 2 and Charlie Brown's Easter. Wait, is that what it's called? It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown and Babysitter's Club, one of my favorite films ever. This is only the second time I've come across these like Archie magazines, but I already have some available on my eBay shop, so I did not pick it up. And then I found an American Girl magazine, which was fun. I thought this was an OG Barbie, but it was new Barbie, so I did not pick it up. And then Barbie Rapunzel on DVD and The Princess and the Popper. There were some cool cameras. This one that I'm gonna show you, this one. This reminds me of the very first camera I ever had and I was so obsessed with it. I was nonstop taking pictures of my friends with it. And uh, who doesn't want a toilet cover with a matching rug? I was kind of tempted to get that, not gonna lie. I always check out the showcase just to see if there's anything special in there, but there wasn't anything too crazy. Just a Wii and some DS games that were not that exciting. These, okay, I honestly kind of wanted to get these and like make a cake for my nephew or something, but I mean, he's only 10 months old. He's not going to appreciate them, but they were so adorable. And then just looking through the last little bin of plushes and I wanted to take this little fish home and name him Bubbles. <laughs> I sadly didn't get anything in that store. I really wanted that Girl Talk game from 1998, but Goodwill Tapes games closed, like with my packing tape, like legit packing tape, so you can't open them to see if everything's inside and included and in good condition. So, oh, if it was like half off, maybe I would have like taken a chance on it just to see. But, oh, yeah, that store doesn't normally have what I'm looking for, but oh well. Okay, you guys, here is the TV. Isn't it so stinking cute? And this is a remote. Like, I would have lived for this. So let's see if we can turn it on with our magic wand. <gasps> okay. Why is this so stinking cute? Like, what one do we like better? The black one or do we like the Disney one better? I think I'm definitely going to keep the black one because it's a VCR and not a DVD. Um, if this one was VCR, that would be tempting. But now the real thing is we got to check to see if we can play a DVD. So let's see. Do we want to play one of these or should I go grab a DVD from over here? We've got Jump 5, Spice World. Let's try Spice World. Okay. Well, that's not good, is it? Okay, I put it on the DVD setting, but it's still not, oh. Wait, there's a DVD inside? What DVD is inside of it? This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Okay, let's guess the Disney film. I'm gonna guess it's like The Lion King. I don't know. Is this Anastasia? Wait, I actually have no idea. What film is this? It's Christmas. Oh my gosh, it's Belle, the Cr Beauty and the Beast, the Enchanted Christmas. Okay. Okay, well, let's see if we can actually open this up. <gasps> please, 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 please. We don't even have to test this, but might as well. <laughs> Wow, nothing like Spice World on a Disney pink TV. Like, iconic? Okay, so glad that TV works. I'm actually gonna go live on TikTok to pack some orders. I have four orders, so let me grab them. It's actually crazy to me how many VHSs I'm selling because there was a long stretch where I did not sell a single VHS, but I literally sold both of the Mighty Machines that I just added that you saw. Might have been in this video or last video, I don't remember. And then I sold all of the rest of the Sailor Moon VHS tapes, which is so exciting. Somebody must 
be um, starting or finishing the collection. Who knows? And then I sold a book, one of the Halloween books. I'm like selling all those Halloween books I got. It's the The Witch Who Was Afraid of Witches. The Witch Who Was Afraid of Witches. How cool is that? So yeah, I'm gonna go live to pack these. I'm editing the video now and I totally forgot to end it. So thank you so much for supporting my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. If it's up to me, you'll